Hello and welcome everyone. This is a simple yoga class that you can do with a friend or loved one. We're going to practice basic yoga poses in a gentle and fun way to help us build strength and flexibility in the body and create a peaceful, calm mind. All you need are two blocks for today's practice, and you don't really even need two blocks. You can do this without, but if you have blocks at home, that's great, or maybe you just want to use a really big book or even two rolls of toilet paper. That will work as well. We're going to start standing in the center of the mat. So as you stand up, we're going to stand in a pose called mountain pose. And to do mountain pose, you just have the feet pointing forward and they're right underneath your hips. And then just relax your knees a little bit and lift yourself out of the crown of your head. So grow really tall and just let your arms hang down by your sides. Now we'll be here for just a minute or so, so if you want to close your eyes, you can do that, or just maybe look gently at the ground. But as you stand here, imagine that you are a mountain. You're strong and tall and steady. Maybe you imagine that as the mountain you watch the seasons come and go. Spring, summer, the leaves fall down in autumn, and the snow covers you in the winter. But you stay the same, strong, quiet, peaceful. You are the mountain. And then slowly open your eyes or look forward. And we're going to begin to move and breathe a little bit. So as you take a deep breath in, let's reach the arms overhead to the sky. Maybe you touch your fingertips together. And then exhale, bring the arms back down. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms down. And one last time, inhale, reach up. And exhale, arms come down. Good, this time let's reach the arms up and interlace the fingers and place the hands behind the head. Inhale, stand up as tall as you can. And exhale, lean over to one side. So one elbow gets heavy and one elbow points toward the sky. You might feel a stretch on the side of your body. Good, and then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go over to the other side. Mm. And try to stay looking forward. Make sure you're not turning to look down at the ground, but stay facing forward as you lean to the side. And then come back to center. This time, inhale, stand up tall. And exhale, lean back just a little bit. Look at the sky. Keep the elbows wide apart. Good, and then come back to center. We'll do that again. Inhale, exhale, lean. Hmm. Get strong in your feet. Inhale. And exhale, lean to the other side. Hmm. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, look back. You might feel a stretch in your belly. And then come back to center. Good job. All right, lower the arms down. And we're going to stand at the top of the mat. So feet are facing the short edge of the mat. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. And this time, as you breathe out, let the arms go to the sides and start to bend forward at the waist and bring the fingertips down to the floor. So this is called forward fold. You're folding your body in half and touching the ground. If you can't reach the ground, you can have blocks. That's totally fine. Hmm. Good, and then let's put our hands down and bring our knees down to the mat. So coming into tabletop position, 
imagining that your body is like a table and your back is strong and flat. Mm. And from here, we're going to do cat and cow. So as you inhale, lift the tailbone up and soften your belly down and look forward. This is your cow pose. And then exhale, tuck your tailbone down, push into the ground so you can round your spine into a big arc and lower your head. This is cat pose. You're like an angry Halloween cat. Let's do that a couple times. Inhale, arch the back, look forward. Exhale, round the back, look down. And again, inhale up. Exhale, round. Maybe one more time. Inhale up. And exhale, round. Good job. And then come back to your flat back, your tabletop position. And let's send one leg back behind us. I'm going to send the right toes back. So tuck your toes under, press the ball of the foot into the floor, and feel a stretch up the back of the leg. Mm. And then let's raise that leg up so it's the same level as your back. Inhale here. Really imagine lifting your toes and reaching that toe as far back behind you as you possibly can. Exhale, you're going to bend your knee and draw it into your chest. Imagine you could touch your nose to your knee. Good, let's do that a couple times. Inhale, reach the foot back. Exhale, round your spine. Imagine you can touch the knee. Good, and then inhale back. Exhale, curl into a little ball. Good, one more time. Inhale back. And then lower the leg back to tabletop position. All right, let's do the other side. Send the left foot back behind you. Take a moment here, tuck the toes under and push into that foot so you feel a stretch in the calf and the back of the leg. And then float the leg up, hmm, parallel to the earth. Good. Inhale, really reach your toes back as far as you can. And then exhale, curl in. Hold that knee, hover it off the ground. Good. Inhale back, exhale, curl the knee in. Imagine you can touch your nose to your knee. And back, inhale. One more time, exhale, curl. Then inhale, extend the leg, and lower the knee. Good job. Let's place the big toes together, separate your knees a little bit, and sit the hips back toward your heels, child's pose. You can rest the forehead down on the earth. Hmm. Reach your arms out in front of you. Rest your forehead on the earth. And take a couple deep breaths. Hmm. And then begin to lift your head up and look at your hands. And rise all the way up in your knees. Bring your knees back toward each other. Tuck your toes under and lift the hips all the way up and back. This is downward facing dog. So you're making a pyramid shape. Imagine your body is a pyramid. You're pressing into your hands and your feet and lifting your hips up as high as you can. Hmm. You might wanna practice bending the knees and then straightening. Maybe you want to bend one knee and keep the other leg straight. Maybe the other side. Just play with your feet and legs a little bit here. But stay strong in your arms and back. Hmm. Good. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. So our shoulders are going to come over the wrists and our body is a strong line of energy. Good. Then lower your knees, and we're going to lower all the way down to our bellies. Hmm. So keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale and press the front of your torso into the ground. And then exhale, begin to look forward as you lift your heart off the ground. So this is cobra pose. Hmm. Let's try that a couple of times. So inhale, come down. Exhale, press your pubic bone into the floor as you rise up. Mm. Keeping the elbows hugging in toward the ribs. 
Good, lower down. We'll try one more time, inhale. And exhale, peel your heart up, look forward. Good, and then come on down. Keep your hands where they are and push yourself back up to your knees, back up to plank, and back to downward dog. So we just came up the same way we went down. Hmm. Good, and then walk your feet up to the top of the mat in your forward fold again. Hmm. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, come up with a strong and flat back. Good, beautiful. All right, so let's step really wide on the mat now. So we're gonna face the long side of the mat and the feet are really wide apart. And I'm gonna start with both my toes pointing forward. And then I'm gonna switch my attention to the right leg, turn the toes all the way out so the toes point toward the back short edge of your mat. Now the other foot can stay right where it is or you can turn the toes in toward your body a little bit. And then we're gonna bend deeply into that front knee. <sighs> and then imagine that you're taking off a sweater. So grab the edge of your sweater and take it off over your head, let it go and float the arms parallel to the earth. This is Virabhadrasana or warrior two pose. So imagine that you are a strong warrior, steady and fierce. Good, then bring your hands to your hips, straighten that front leg, and just shift your hips a little bit back, straighten your arms, and tilt forward so that you can touch the top of your leg. So this is triangle pose, and maybe you can see why, because I feel like my body's making all these different triangle shapes. I have one triangle here, one triangle my legs and the mat. Maybe I even wanna bend that top hand, put it on my waist and make another triangle shape with that arm. Hmm. Good, and then inhale, reach up, come back up to standing, and have both toes face forward. Good, so we'll switch to the other side. Turn the left toes all the way out now and they're gonna to point to the short edge of the mat. And that back foot, you can keep it right where it is or turn the toes a little bit toward the front. Good, and then bend the knee, take off the sweater, and come into warrior two. Feel the strength in your legs, the steadiness of the arms and head. Feel that you are ready, you're ready for action, you're ready for battle. Good, then bring the hands to the hips, start to straighten the front leg. Just shift your hips back a little bit toward the back foot. Arms are gonna be long and you tilt forward placing the front hand down on your shin or foot or maybe even the floor. Mm, triangle pose. Feel all the different triangles in your body. Good, and then reach all the way up with that top hand. Move both toes so they face the front edge of the mat. And we're gonna bend the knees a little bit and then hinge forward at the waist, bring the hands down to the earth. So this is like forward fold, except the legs are wide. You can have hands on blocks here. You don't have to come all the way down to the floor. But notice what you feel in your body. Maybe you feel a stretch in the back of the legs or your back. Maybe in your feet or ankles. And then when you're ready to come out, bend your knees a little bit, place your hands on your hips, come all the way up with a strong back again. Good. Now, if you want today, you can bend the knees and jump the feet together. Or you could just walk your feet in nice and slow. All right, so we're gonna practice a balancing pose now called tree pose. So I'm gonna stand really strong into one leg. So for me, this is the left leg. 
and I have and start with my hands on my hips. Pick up the other toes, so pick up your right toes, and then turn the knee out to the side. Now, this could be your tree pose here today with the toes on the ground. Maybe you wanna press that foot into the other ankle, or you could lift the foot up and place the foot toward the calf, or you could lift the foot all the way up and press the foot into the inner thigh and the thigh into the foot so that you have a nice, grounded, steady, strong base. Imagine that your right leg, your left leg is a strong, steady tree trunk and the toes are the roots into the ground. Mm. Now, from here, you could bring your hands together or you could reach the arms overhead like the branches of a tree growing to the sky. And if this is really hard to balance, you can always hold on to the edge of a wall or a chair or the couch, whatever is nearby. Good job. And then when you're ready to come out, just lower the foot down and notice how it feels. Does one foot feel different than the other? I know the foot that I was standing on is a little bit tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a break now and switch over to the other side. So root down heavily into your right foot, strong like a tree trunk. Pick up the left foot so you rest on the toes. And maybe you're here today. Maybe the toes are touching the ground and your heel is touching the ankle. Maybe you wanna lift the foot up so that the foot presses into the calf. Maybe you wanna reach even further up, pressing the foot into the inner thigh. And if it's hard for you to balance, Find a place either on the ground or the wall in front of you just to look that's steady and still. So maybe you see a picture on the wall that's not moving or there's a spot on the floor that's not moving. Just look at that and it can be easier to balance when you're gazing at one steady spot. Maybe you wanna reach the arms high like the branches of a tree. Maybe your tree is swaying in the breeze a little bit here. Good, and then when you're ready, hands to the heart, lower the foot, notice how you feel. Good, and let's stand at the top of the mat one last time here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Fingertips can be toward the ground, maybe they're resting on your shins, whatever's comfortable. Good. Then plant your hands. Step both feet back. One more downward facing dog. Mm. Press your hands into the floor and imagine that they're rooted down and slightly pushing forward. Good. Then lower the knees down. And we're going to come to seated on the mat. So as you sit down on the mat, I'm gonna bring the soles of the feet together. So the bottoms of the feet are pressing together and I'm gonna bring the hands behind me and press them into the floor. Feel how as you press your hands into the floor that helps you lift the heart up and the head up so that you're sitting up really tall. You can see the difference if you take the hands away, maybe it's harder to sit up tall. And when you press the hands into the ground, you feel that length. Maybe you want to try to bring the hands forward and hold on to the feet and lean forward a little bit. Notice how that changes things for you. Do you feel a different sensation in the hips? Right here at the hip joints? Does it feel different in your back? It's fun to explore how one tiny change can have a big impact in the way we feel. Good job. All right, so now let's sit with the legs straight out. So straight out in front of you, point the toes toward the sky, root down into your heels, and sit up as tall as you can. So your body's making a letter L shape from the side. And then we're gonna bend the right knee. So you can keep the foot down on the ground 
or you can step it across the other knee and put it down on the ground. So whatever is comfortable for you. Inhale, sit up really tall and exhale, begin to twist toward your knee, so toward the right. And I'm going to wrap my other arm around so that I'm hugging the knee a little bit. Now you can stay here, but you can take one hand behind you if that's a little bit easier, feels more stable. We're looking to feel a stretch here in the outer hip and a twisting sensation through the spine. But wherever you are, just sit up as tall as you can. Keep reaching the head up to the sky. Mm. And just gently ease into this twist. Good, and then unwind, come back to center, straighten the right leg, we'll do the other side. So bending into the left foot, you can keep that knee right to the inside of the knee, or you can cross it all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist yourself over to the left, hug that knee in. Hmm. Maybe you want to bring the left hand behind. Just gives you a little kickstand to stand up tall. Inhale, reach your head to the sky. And exhale, move just a little bit deeper into your twist. Good. And come back to center. All right, so we're going to finish in a seated meditation pose. So it's comfortable for me to sit like this with my legs crossed. But if it's not comfortable for you, you could sit up on a block. So you could kneel on the block like this, or you could sit in a chair. <sighs> but wherever you are, let's bring our hands, palms up, and gently cup them as if you're imagining there's sunlight seeping down and being held in the hands. And just like we did at the beginning of class, you can close your eyes or you can just look at the ground and feel that same sense of being strong and calm and steady. Maybe here you want to listen to your breath. Can you notice as you inhale that the breath comes in through the nose and fills up your chest and your belly? And as you exhale, the air softly leaves and everything kind of softens down. So see if you can notice it's a small change but feel what happens in your body when you breathe. And then slowly open your eyes, bring your hands together in front of your heart. The light that's in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs>